Mini from Mini Gold Design, and today we're going to revisit spaghetti. Now, in order to make spaghetti, you have to do a little planning ahead of time. Uh, one of the things you'll have to buy, and I get this from Harmony House, is powdered tomato. I use this in a lot of stuff. Well, not a lot of stuff, but some stuff. Uh, and what I've done is I've taken two heaping tablespoons of powdered tomato and one heaping teaspoon of McCormick's Thick and Zesty Spaghetti Sauce Mix. Put it in here and stir it up. And when I get ready, uh, when the water's boiling, which it is, I'll put some hot water in here, some boiling water in here, and stir this up, and that'll be my sauce. And then I'll put the rest of the water into the spaghetti and let the spaghetti set about 10 minutes to uh, basically cook. It, it cooks pretty fast. It's, uh, wanted to mention, this is angel hair pasta, very thin, and it cooks much faster than uh, regular spaghetti. So that, that'll be pretty good. And I break it up to keep it down to the bottom of the pot so I don't have to put so much water in. Now, it would only be natural to have hamburger in with this sauce. And uh, the point is, yes, it is a good idea. Hamburger is great in it. But if you're using dehydrated hamburger, don't put it in the sauce because when you put the hot water in here, the hamburger won't rehydrate fast enough and you'll end up with crunchy hamburger and it'll ruin the meal. My hamburger, I put in this pot when the water was cold before I even started boiling it uh, to let it have its maximum amount of time to rehydrate. And it's also been boiling probably... Oh, another five minutes after that, just to make sure, because this is old hamburger. It was, uh, <laughs> was a year old. So, and I want to make sure that it's uh, completely done before I put it in with the spaghetti. Yep, yeah, that's done. Okay. So I've got a pint of water here. I've got my angel hair pasta. And i got my hamburger. This kind of looks like muddy water <laughs> with this hamburger. But... Hey, and the hamburger can be, it came out pretty good, but there's a little bit hanging in there. We'll get all of it out of there. See, I'm using my poison pot. We'll all be dead here in a very short period of time, so don't worry about it. Okay. Now, there we go. Uh, you can see that spaghetti is already starting to fade, squat down and get soft. I push down anything that's <clears throat> above the water line so it can get uh, rehydrated and cooked. And I'll leave that about 10 minutes. So I probably ought to turn the camera off and turn it back on in 10 minutes. Okay. This spaghetti has been set for about 10 minutes, and it's uh, al dente. Got my titanium spork here. Give it a little bit of a try here, make sure it's okay. Yep, that'll work. Now, if I was out backpacking, I would drain this on the ground, but since I'm in the studio, I don't think that would be that good an idea, so... Gonna drain it good. Now, if water was an issue, I could use this water to make my sauce. But because I had all kinds of time here and I wanted my sauce good and hot, uh, I opted to boil a little water while I was waiting. Now, uh, I just keep adding a little bit more water to this until. It's a consistency that I want. I don't want it too thick, but I don't want it too thin either. Well, that's uh, that's handsome sauce. Good looking stuff. That uh, tomato powder is pretty amazing stuff. It, it's not too far from the real thing. Okay, now. Uh, just like mom used to make. Now my hamburger is already in my spaghetti. And 
here's my sauce. Now, all you got left to do now is to pour your sauce in your spaghetti or pour your spaghetti in your sauce. Your call. <laughs> I'm going to pour the sauce over my spaghetti. That came out nice. Now, I got some Parmesan right here, and I'm going to dump that in and then stir the whole mess together because that's just the way I do it. But you could do it any way you wanted to, actually. And don't be fooled by this. This is actually a, a lot to eat. You know, titanium sporks are probably not the ideal thing to do that with. But uh, this is a lot more to eat than you'd think it would be. Yeah, this titanium spork is not that well suited to stirring stuff. It doesn't take the stress well. Light my fire. Can't beat it with a stick. Kind of hard to get the sauce all the way to the bottom, but if you work on it, you can do it. There we go. Oh yeah. Now, nothing here you can't do right out on the trail. Put the powder in here. Put the powder in the bag. You're going to be carrying two containers anyway. Put the powder in. Put the water to it. Put the spaghetti in here. Pour some water on it. Put the hamburger in here before you start and let it boil to get the maximum hydration. And this hydrated up good and it's a year old. So, you know, that's about as bad as it gets. I put my Parmesan on. Now all the only thing left to do actually is just sit down and eat it. So very good. Um, this is good enough. So my daughter actually prefers. If I make it, she always wants some. She's actually asked me to make it from scratch, just because it's, it's that popular with her. I know. I look a little scruffy because I just rode 12 miles on a recumbent bicycle. <laughs> I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Get on hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors, eat some really great meals out on the trail in your poison pot, and more important than anything, have a really great day. Bye-bye.